So we've been developing educational content for the C-Space for about five years now at NAMSO University. Uh, we've developed things for our own school. For example, we have a glass and ceramic part, and we created a user's manual, a user manual to learn how to use the kilns. They're very dangerous, so we need to have a, a VR simulation so students could first learn how to use them before actually using them, the kilns in the, in the glass department. Uh, we've created uh, we're working on a project now for the government of Ecuador in collaboration with the World Bank to teach auto mechanics in, in technical school, vocational schools in, in Ecuador. We will also be developing similar applications for technical schools here in Seoul as well. And so we, we chose to use ZSpace to develop these applications because it's a, it's a device that really engages the students. Uh, a lot of times when we use HMD devices, students think it's fun and they play with it for about five minutes, but they often get dizzy or it's not a sustainable kind of educational experience. With ZSpace, you have these, these glasses, these stereoscopic glasses, which um, are very similar to regular glasses and they're not a burden to wear. Uh, students can sit here and use the pen and, and engage with content for for, I've seen students working for 30, 40 minutes at a time. Whereas with, with traditional VR, students after about five or 10 minutes are ready to, to quit. So because it engages the students in this way, we're able to create content that is more pedagogically sound. We're able to create content that allows more collaboration with other students, and the teacher is able to monitor the content more easily.